Hey everybody, I told you I'd give a little test, so I've got a little air thing rigged up here. Um, it's not very good. If you hear a little hissing, there's some coming out, uh, some various joints as you can see. I've put some Teflon tape around some things, but here's one of the finished valves. I'm going to turn the air on, and let's see if I can do this. You can hear the air hissing out, just like the blower sounds, and cut it off. There's some miscellaneous hissing from some of the leaks, but nothing from there. So I think I have a good sealing valve. And um, that's my little demonstration. Uh, I'll show you, I wanted to show a couple of more tips. Let's move over here. We've got everything laid out. A couple of important things that First of all, the, the plans call for you to drill, literally drill, a 532nd inch hole that will go in, the, the um, spindle goes in, and that's your stopper. So a couple key things when I started to test these. Be real careful when you make your spindles. You want to make the spindle as smooth and perfect as possible because that's what's causing the seal inside there in your 532nd inch hole. The second thing is it says to drill, and as we all know, the drill doesn't make a perfect concentric hole. So, what? luckily I found a, a reamer that's three thousandths bigger than that. It's so if the uh, 532nd inch drill is about a 156 thousandths, then the reamer, I found a reamer in, that I have that's 159 thousandths, which happily um, made a nice concentric hole, and I'll be using that for all the the valves that I made. Here's a couple of the finished valves. I'll, I'll use that for all the other ones I make from here on out. Another thing that's important to note is tapping for the 1 inch pipe thread. First I used a conventional 1 inch pipe tap. Then I used this fancy short projection one I got from uh, McMaster Car, I believe. It's supposed to give you wider holes for a short project and as you can see the, the holes that are um, tapped for the uh, 1 16 inch pipe. They're very short, so you don't have a lot to play with. Long story short, I, I couldn't even fit, even after using both of these, I couldn't fit in a conventional um, 1 16 inch pipe thread from these fittings here. So I actually had to take another one that I had and I ground off, as you can see, the first like five or six threads. Well, and I just did that by trial and error. I'd grind off two or three, get, then round it, and then try re-tapping one of the valve bodies, and um, then I'd, I'd test fit it, and if it wasn't enough, then I'd ground off a little bit more, and you can see that's what I ended up with. So I hope that's helpful to you all, and it's been a fun project, uh, very interesting and fun to make these things. Uh, can't wait to make a whole bunch more and to uh, finish up with my Allen Mogul. So please let me know if you have any questions, but... Uh, that should do it for this series. Thanks.